sports. It's in the game. The NFL is on EA Sports, and we are in Silicon Valley at Levi's Stadium in Santa Clara. Coming up, we've got what should prove to be a good one, as it'll be the Buffalo Bills taking on the San Francisco 49ers. Tyler Bass about ready to get us going. And we are underway from Santa Clara. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. This is Samuel. And that's not the start that he was looking for. As he's going to be met and dropped behind the line. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. I like the idea to mix it up from time to time because those faces you can't be predictable. But the execution was a little lacking on this one, right? They might want to go back to the drawing board with that call. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Purdy bootlegging it. That's complete. It's Brandon Ayuk. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 18 yards, first down Niners. Kind of a dangerous throw there. He's off balance when he gets rid of it. But this is all about a quarterback knowing what he can get away with. And that time, it turns into a completion and a healthy gain as well. Play action. Now Purdy. That's complete. It's Kyle Juszczyk. 
And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. First down at the 48-yard line. Purdy looking to throw. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And hey, that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. I like it. I like it. I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game. And you know you create those great mismatches, throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it. Look at this. Middle of the field. A breakaway. Touchdown. will jump on top with the game's first score here this afternoon. Moody good with the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. Allen and the Bills now with a first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Throwing to start the drive. Allen. Man open downfield as Diggs. He's got it. Down the right sideline. Touchdown, Bills. Stephon Diggs, 75 yards. And the Bills are able to strike back quickly with an opening touchdown of their own. It's Tyler Bass on for the extra point attempt. It's up and good. So these teams match touchdowns here in the first quarter, and we're tied 7-7. Tyler Bass, the kickoff for each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out looking to repeat that Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. 57 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. There's Purdy on first and 10. The first catch of the game. Oh my God, that should have been a pick, bro. I did not think he was going to throw that. And that's going to bring up second down. McCaffrey running up the middle. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That one a first down pickup of eight. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. They go play action here, Purdy. This is caught. It's Why are you getting bailed out like that? Out. Holy shit. Oh, you did. Oh, my God. I know we love our jobs. And pretty much any play we see, we're pretty, you know, excited about. But big plays, let's face it, that's what we absolutely live for. How about that one? That was great. And what our camera missed was the fist pump from the sideline after that catch. They're fired out. It's a big game. Seven, seven. Our score after one. The 49ers with the football here to begin this. Second and four. They could still get a first down without scoring. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. 
And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what will be a third and four. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Out of the gun, Purdy. This ball nearly intercepted. A once in the season chance for the big fella, but he couldn't corral it. Fourth down, straight ahead. And his kick is indeed good. And they take the lead here now at 10 to 7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks would tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. come to the line to start their next drive well partner you know coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown sometimes that's not really true but last drive that was the case one play to get into the end zone and now they'll try to duplicate that success here and it's rare for those moments to happen incredible when they do and you saw the celebration pure unbridled joy after that one throwing on first down is Allen He's got the hook up with Diggs. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 down at the 33. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. On second down, Corey. And he's going to have this pretty close to a first down as the tackle is made at the Niners' 25. Third and two, they're going to elect to throw with Allen. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They'll run with Cook. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. James Cook taking it in from seven yards away. And the Bills have moved out in front. Tyler Bass now for the point after. And that makes it 14 10. Makes the score Bills 14, 49ers 10. Tyler Bass to kick off for Buffalo. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. start this drive in pretty good shape as they get it up past the 30. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. On second down, McCaffrey. Five yards, now it's third and five. The second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. Third and five. Five. 
Shotgun now with Purdy. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And he's going to have a Niners first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. On first down, this is McCaffrey. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. Not a run that you're going to write home about, but still a good first down run. That's what an offense calls staying on schedule. Three to four yards on first down, you're set up very well for the rest of the drive. Purdy completes this one here to McCaffrey. The result, only four yards there on the play. And it makes it third down and two yards to go. They'll come to the line needing only two yards to gain the first here. On third down, it's Purdy. Oh, he tries to force it in. Well, yeah, it's only a matter of time, my boy. A little short pass bullshit is not going to work. Down to the 10. And he is going to score. It's a pick six and a Bills touchdown. Bass on for the extra point. It's good, and it's 21-10. Next to score, Bills 21. 49ers So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. At their own 27 yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Well, not much time remains here in this first half. We'll see if they can get something out of this drive, at least a field goal. They could certainly use it down by two scores. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. He's thrown one interception already, and that doesn't necessarily mean the rest of the game is going to go like that but it does seem that he's a little bit off in his approach to this one. Yeah, it does, and that was a risky throw right there. Got to be careful about taking care of the ball. Oh, and his early struggles. <laughs> yeah, it's about that time, my boy. How's <laughs> that time? Perfect return here as he's going to have him set up with a first and goal right at about the six-yard line. An unfortunate sequence there, trying to get points before intermission, but now the interception, and their opponents have a chance to possibly pad their lead. Yeah, they had an opportunity there, and they weren't able to count. Touchdown! Gabriel Davis from six yards away. And the Bills will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Extra point by Bass, up and good. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And not much happening on the return as he'll get this to about the 23. At their own 23 yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. Ah, the panic's starting to set in, huh? Um, I'm hiking. Oh, this, this Andy Reid? Like, hey, coach, how are you? I'm, I'm doing good. Timeouts as they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. So following the sack, they'll try to change their fortune here on second and 13. They don't want to repeat a first down. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll push forward here for a good little run as the clock continues to run. And now they'll take a timeout defensively. After the second down play, they burn the timeout, making him sweat out the final few ticks here in the second quarter. Once again, they'll keep it on the ground. And he will be marked down short of the first as they get to him at the 29. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, he don't be scoring you again at before half. Here we go with McCaffrey. 
And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Bills with the lead, and they'll get the football first as the second half is underway. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. At their own 16 yard line. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. As this offense takes the field to begin the opening drive of the second half, Charles, remember that first half, good through the air and really all around an outstanding offensive performance. Absolutely. They reached the end zone several times. The passing game working awfully well. And most importantly, partner. And yeah, they went to the tunnel with a the lead. They come back out with that lead. Absolutely. NFL coaches, we know they're perfectionists in a lot of ways, but they had to like what they saw in that first half. Play action. Now it's Allen. And Diggs has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before they reach the 50. Looking to speed things up here, going with some tempo. This a quick pass to Davis. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight. Second and two. Eight yards on the pickup. Brings up second and two at the 41-yard line. From the 41, here's second and two. Allen going to throw. Right back to Davis. It's complete. He'll get it inside the 20. And he's all the way down to the six-yard line. Now a chance to make that big play really hurt. It's first and goal just outside the five. And again, it's Allen. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Josh Allen. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Bills take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. That's a really good decision right there outside of the pocket. You've got to know the right time to the shift from pass to the runner. He was looking and looking. Nothing there. You can almost feel the brainwaves firing as he calculates. I think I can win a race to the pylon. And he turns out to be right. Touchdown. But I guess when you're hot, you're hot. I mean, I would just go ahead and take the extra point and move on. But apparently they've got something to prove. Almost feels like something was said this week. And they wanted to make sure that they laid it on them in this game. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And they will wrangle him down a couple yards shy of the 30. At their own 28 yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. A CD, they certainly know the hole that they face as they begin the second half. They have to do what precious few teams have done in NFL history. Let's try to come back from a four-possession deficit. The partner, you know, as that team gathers, they send each other. You never say never, right? Because if you're on an NFL roster, that's how you have to think. You can always come back and win a ball game. And let's face it, we saw a certain Super Bowl, a 25-point lead late. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time. Yeah, hey, you done, bro. Get up out of here, man. All that fluke stuff that you was doing before, get up out of here, man. Let's face it, Brandon, they're down here in the second half. Want to try and make something happen. And if you're the guy with the ball in your hands, you're going to try even harder. Because I think all he was trying to do was to get outside the pocket and see if he can find a big play downfield.
So after the INT, it's Allen. And this one incomplete, threw it down at the feet of his receiver. I think we could all understand what they're thinking right now. They take over the ball in field goal range after the turnover, so they've got that in their hip pocket. But they've got to go for the end zone and turn this into a bigger point. Their thinking is a touchdown is really what they should get from starting here. Getting three points at the end of this drive, that would feel disappointing. And the offense moving quickly to the line. First down, here's the run with Cook. A good pick up there, seven yards, and it's going to be second and goal now. Cook is in. Touchdown, Bills. Sometimes offense can get too cute down near the goal line, but there's nothing fancy about this one. As Coach Lombardi would say, we get a seal here, and we get a seal here, and we run this play in the alley. And that's good work to hit the hole hard and finish in the end zone. And now Sean McDermott's made the call. They'll go for two. Allen will try to throw for it. And he's got it. They add on more. A little salt in the wound. Two-point conversion makes this lead even bigger. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. I don't know what was going on there, but the end result... Oh, oh it's going downhill for you, man. You got bailed out way, way too much. <laughs> it's time, my boy. It's time to go, my boy. Yeah, when we had our production meeting, they didn't exactly share that with us. But I'm pretty sure that on the play sheet, the run backwards into your own end zone play was not written down. And now, how about this? The free kick from the 20 going to be out of bounds. And that, of course, is a penalty. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From midfield, here's Allen. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. Here's Allen to throw it. Pass caught. It's Davis on the crossing route. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. So the shotgun snap to Allen. Wide open receiver complete. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Again, they'll throw with Allen. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. I see the surprise in your face there, partner. That is a rare incompletion from him. He's been on point this entire game. He has percentage completion-wise way up. Not that time. Throwing now is Allen, and it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Owen Burks. Look at over here watching TikTok. You lucky. <laughs> I didn't even see that nigga there. On first down, Purdy. And his pass is intercepted for the fifth Ain't that. Ain't that, uh, unfortunate. Got the interception, and now they start inside the 10. Partner forgets starting inside the red zone. They're inside the green zone. From the 10 yard line in, a lot of teams call it that because that's the money zone. Get it into the end zone and make your cash.
Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. Touchdown, Bills! Dawson Knox, a touchdown grab from Josh Allen. And the Bills get another third-quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. A familiar refrain, a turnover leads to a touchdown, and that lead grows even wider now here in this third quarter. Yeah, partner, I'd say there are a lot of grins breaking out on that sideline because, let's face it, they came in thinking they were in for a real fight in this game, but this one's been about as one-sided as we've seen in a while. In addition, if you're a backup, time to start stretching and loosening up. You may get some playing time in this one. They'll try and throw for it. And this is going to be caught. I'm well, not sure about the need to go for two, but they get it and extend this lead out even further. Yeah, the touchdown apparently wasn't enough. They're going to go for the onside kick here. Now a timeout called for by the defense. And with that, they're down to one remaining here in the second half. Tyler pass to kick off for Buffalo. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. In trouble, and the ball's out. It's in the end zone, loose. And this is Let's go! <laughs> I, I know you did that on purpose, but then... <laughs> I didn't think it's going to actually do that. You're funny, though. Know. Quick touchdowns within a matter of about 10 seconds on the game clock. It's like a big one-two punch that may lead to a knockout. So now Allen and the Bills are going to stay out and go for two. They'll look to throw. And he's got it. They add on more. A little salt in the wound. Two-point conversion makes this lead even bigger. Now a timeout called for by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. And I guess the touchdown wasn't enough. They want the onside kick as well. Now a timeout called for by the defense. So, boy, that's already the third they burn here. They are out of timeouts now before we've even hit the fourth quarter. And the touchdown. <laughs> Pikachu, Jen and Ted from EX Emeralds. Nice on the Pikachu. And the 49er hands team does its job. Yeah, you got to wait until that ball goes 10 yards. They did not. They hit it before, and that draws the flag every time. And there's no doubt in my mind that converting an onside kick has never been tougher in the NFL with the new rules. So trying to get it to 10 yards, timing up perfectly, that's tough enough to begin with. But when you go ahead and grab it before it goes, you've got no shot then. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. A second down throw for Purdy. And my yep, time to get him out of there, my boy. Please, uh, don't, please don't stay here, bro. Like, you, you can leave, my boy. You can leave. Partner, I, I got to tell you, I'm trying to think of something positive to say for this offense, but I'd have to be a spin doctor for that one. This has been a tough performance to watch. And I think it's hard at this point to actually identify what's really gone wrong. I guess the catch-all is everything. Doesn't sound like real sharp analysis, but I don't have much else for you. And the scoreboard just lopsided, and it's been ugly from the get-go. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. They'll send the tight end in motion. First down, and they're going to throw with Allen. Oh, right. ah, 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 even though that wasn't you, that was actually on me, but yeah, it is that good. You needed that. Purdy looking to throw on first down here. 
And he works his way past the line of scrimmage and then slides to a hole. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Purdy will set up to throw it here. And he drops it incomplete, and their struggles continue here. They lead big, and a major part of that has been how they've taken their play to a whole new level this second half. No points allowed since the break, and you can add another incompletion to the total number that they forced in this runaway contest. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Purdy from the gun, out to his left. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. Nowhere to go downfield, but he's able to get out of bounds and stop the clock here with a first down. It hasn't been the cleanest game for him, but there was a sign of improvement as he looks towards the next one. Nice bit of scrambling to move the sticks, and even more importantly, he didn't risk adding another interception to his ledger. Now Samuel. It was the linebacker Leonard Floyd on the stop. Let's give a lot of credit to the offensive line. They've been able to move the ball really well on the ground the entire game. And while that wasn't a huge one, that's okay. They'll take them in short, steady bursts. Let's go. From the 21, here's second and nine. Purdy looking to throw. He'll get this out wide here to McCaffrey. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 or the 12. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Now, this is certainly one of the bigger losses that we are going to see for quite some time. And you have to think at this point, where we're at in the fourth quarter, with how wide this advantage is, for this offense, they're just trying to end things with a positive drive and then get the heck out of here. Yeah, if this had been a concert. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Leonard Floyd. And the Bills are going to have it here as they'll start at their own 24-yard line. Yet another mistake after the interception there. And, gosh, you look up at the scoreboard, they just got to be thinking this one cannot get over fast enough. It certainly can't. And also what happens when you get this big of a deficit, you're supposed to make all the right throws, right? You're supposed to try and obviously get the ball to your own guys. But being down this big, you also take even more chances. And in this situation, that hasn't paid off for them at all. On the other sideline, jubilation and laughter. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And after the interception, they are sitting in an even better spot with the ball and a comfortable fourth quarter lead. A good start to the drive here. That's caught out on the left side. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. On game of 29 yards. Here's Allen on first and 10. Completes to Shakir once again. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. So it's Bill's football here as we get you reset. And they have just about put this one on ice as they've got it here first and 10. Allen now on first down. And it's caught. And they are going to score again. Yet another touchdown as they just add to their totals. Even though they've got this big advantage, Charles, they are not taking their foot off the gas pedal right now. Well, I think what we're seeing is the result of all their great preparation and great practice time during the week. And even though it seems like this is a great chance to pull people back and maybe, you know, not try and score a few more times, they don't want to do that. I think they're enjoying what they're seeing, the collective effort, and they want to play it all the way out. So now Allen and the Bill is going to stay out and go for two. Allen to throw once more. And they're a perfect five for five now on two-point conversions as he is in to get them two more. Yeah. 
And the touchdown apparently wasn't enough. They're going to go for the onside kick here. Now the Bills will use the second of their timeouts. That'll leave them with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. Tyler Bass to kick off for Buffalo. After the touchdown, Bass to kick it away. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. At their own 27-yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. They go play action here, Purdy. And they take him down. The Bills get to him. The Bills are going to go ahead and use their final timeout. It'll be their third and final timeout. So as they talk things over, we'll step aside. Here comes the 49ers punter now. And surprisingly, this is the first punt of the game for either team. Now a high kick, almost a pooch punt. Officially, that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the Bills will take over the football with a first and 10. Buffalo offense ready to go for their next drive. Well, CD, you and I do a lot of games together, but it is pretty rare that we do a game of this margin. I mean, this has just been total domination from start until now, and I don't think they're going to take their foot off the gas at this point. Do you think that on the sideline, some jokester said to one of his teammates, maybe a few of them, hey, we're up 50. Why not go for 100? You think maybe that line was under on the sideline? I can't believe what we're seeing here. An NFL game this lopsided. Going deep for Diggs. That is incomplete. Up huge on the scoreboard, and they're still trying to add to their total. That shot doesn't connect, but I don't think it'll dissuade them from attempting another one. Second and 10. So Allen's going to look to throw. Uncorks one for Davis. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Well, fans usually love to see scoring, and there was no shortage of it today. What a dominant showing from an offense that was truly playing at an elite level in this contest. Partner, this game was over a long time ago, and you noticed they did not want to slow down anything. Absolutely a dream scenario for everyone on that offense, and they took advantage of every second. Guaranteed popcorn for everyone in their film session. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn, and this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. With that, we say so long from Santa Clara.